Hello, hello everyone. I'm Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. And today we're going to make a thank you card. Christmas is over, so it's time for some thank you cards, right? Maybe you have need to make some thank you cards as I do. The annual catalog, we're going to be using uh, three things out of this. We're going to be using on page 39 of the annual catalog, the um, art gallery. And as I mentioned before, this is one of my favorite stamp sets in the annual catalog. But it also coordinates with the floral gallery dies on page 171. And these are the dies that coordinate with the stamp set. And we are going to use um, a couple of dies from the stamp set, actually three. And then we're also going to be used using adhesive sheets which are on page 157 and they come in a pack let's see you get you receive 12 sheets of 6 by 12 of the adhesive uh, sheets and they are $11 so we are going to use those items today just a re quick reminder, the mini catalog is good through January 4th of 2023, so it will be retiring soon, but there's still a lot of good items in here uh, and a lot of discounts too. So anything in here that you haven't ordered from and that you want, uh, but, uh, soon rather than later because January 4th is right around the corner. And then our new mini catalog will begin on January 5th. I can't open this yet. Um, I've already sent my catalogs out. If you would like a catalog, a catalog uh, and you not have a demonstrator, contact me and I'd be glad to, to send you a catalog. We are going to use some designer series paper uh, that will be in the new mini catalog beginning January 5th. And that is the 6x6 Fancy Flora Designer Series Paper and looks like painting on a canvas. So I'll just show you real quick both sides. So really, really pretty. So we are going to use some of this designer series paper on our card today. I will show you two of those. I will show you the card we're going to make. I think these are exactly the same. So I pulled out two that's the same. So we're going to use Design series paper from the new upcoming mini catalog and the rest of the items from the annual catalog. And here is the card we're going to make today. Just want to say thank you. The card we're going to make today, I think I'm going to leave the just off and we're just going to make it want to say thank you. But otherwise it's going to be the same. And we're using two inks today, soft succulent and so saffron. I'll lay that aside. We're going to be using the Scallop Contours dies. And I'm using the next to the largest for our project today. And the Art Gallery stamp set. And we're also going to need our soft succulent uh, blends, Stampin' Blends, and ribbon. We're going to use this uh, crinkled seam binding ribbon that is also in the annual catalog. Okay, let's go ahead and we bring in what we need. We have our card base. 
We have a scrap of early espresso. We have a scrap of basic white. And we have a scrap of basic white to die cut our large contour die. We have designer series paper, and this is five and a quarter by four. And then I have cut an adhesive sheet, and I usually cut it just a little bit, a uh, little bit smaller than what I'm going to place it on. All right, let's go ahead and do our stamping. So I'm going to bring in this scrap. I'm going to use this floral image and sew saffron. And because I am using the photopolymer stamps, I'm going to go ahead and bring this uh, piercing mat in. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. And I am going to stamp that. And then I'm also going to bring in our thank you. And we're going to stamp that in soft succulent. Now I could die cut my label from the contour dies I'm going to use first, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp thank you. And then I'm going to lay the label die. And this is this label die is not from the contour dies. It is from the uh, floral gallery dies. So in here you have a longer label and then you have this short label and we're going to use the smaller label. So we're going to place that right here. And then also we're going to place our die to cut out our flowers. And I'm going to go run this through the cut and emboss machine and I'll be right back. So here we are. Just take out that sticky. And we have our flowers. And we have our label. So I'll lay those over here. And this is my host code if you're ordering in the month of December. I've already cut out our label. And now I'm going to bring in our scrap of early espresso and our adhesive sheet. And we are going to also, from the floral gallery dies, we have this is all in one piece. Just want to say, and we're going to use that. But this is easier to place on where you want it to go uh, by using adhesive sheets. So... Again, I'm going to just cut this down a little bit because you do not want the edge of this to go over your cardstock because it's sticky. And then there's a place where you can peel. So, or you can start at the corner. once you get that started so you have just a piece that comes right off and you can throw that away and then this is a sticky side so I am just going to place that let's see right here on our cardstock and then I'll lift this back in off and get rid of that we don't we just throw that away and then just press this down and then we're going to turn it over and we're going to lay our die 
and we're going to run this through the cut and emboss machine. And then I'm going to take this off, and of course you have the, the opposite. And here's the, we're not going to use the just, but I do want to save that because we're going to use, I'll use it on another card. But you could also put this on a card. And then we'll just quickly punch those out. And there's little openings. And... And then you just want and you can use your take your pick tool or device just to get right in there there we go Two, and we have lots of choices, just want to say, but we're going to say thanks. And actually, on our stamp set, you could say, just want to say I miss you, just want to say congratulations. Just want to say happy birthday, good luck, but we are using the thank you from this stamp set and then using the dies. But I think on this card, we're not going to use the just, so I'm going to move that aside. We're going to just use want to say, and I'm going to show you how easy it is by using those adhesive sheets that it makes it to be able to add this to our card. So let's go ahead and bring in our card base. And I'm going to bring in some green glue. I want to make sure our card base has a nice crease. So I'm going to just use the bone folder. And again, this designer series paper you can order on starting January 5th from the new mini catalog. And if you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. So I'll get that on there straight as I can. Now we could most definitely pop this up. I didn't on the, uh, the last card, but um, I'm thinking that let's try that. Let's go ahead and pop up this layer here. So I'm going to put one in each corner and then one in the middle. I've taken the backing off, so we're going to turn this over and kind of center it on our card front and try to get it straight. I was laughing at myself because it was twisting on me. All right. And now I'm going to place this. I'm just going to kind of lay it right here and I'm going to place where I want to put my words want to want to say so I'm gonna so I think I will leave this here and I'm going to attach my flowers and I'm going to pop those up. So I'm going to take this off and we'll add some dimensionals. I've added the regular dimensional, three of those, and then a small mini on the um, leaf. And then by leaving the want to say, I can kind of be able to line this up where I would like it to go on the card. And then we're going to turn this over. And I'm going to bring my take your pick tool back in 
and I'm just going to kind of run that between the adhesive sheet and the cardstock. And then I can just peel this backing off. And I can place it on our card. Want. And again, I'm going to turn it upside down, use my take your pick tool. So you can see that a little bit better. So I'm just press holding that down and then taking the pointy end of my take your pick tool. And then just peeling that off. And then we'll place this on our card. And we'll do the same for the say. Just kind of holding it down and then it just peels right off. And we will bring in the thank you. And we will pop that up with dimensionals. I've added three mini. And we'll turn that over and add that right here. And then I am going to bring in some embellishments. And I'm going to use the iridescent pearls which is in our annual catalog and then I'm going to bring in our Stampin' Blends it's a soft succulent and I'm going to use the dark and I'm going to go ahead and just add some color on three of the pearls I don't know if you can see that on camera but they are I have colored those and then I'm going to bring in our crinkled seam binding ribbon and we are going to we color the ribbon using the soft succulent because I'm going to add a bow and I do not have any soft succulent ribbon with me. I don't know, about seven or eight inches. Then I'll let that dry, which won't take very long. And we'll bring our card back in. And let's go ahead and add our embellishments. And I'm going to take this end cap off for the putty. And I'm going to pick up one of our pearls. And I'm going to place it right up here in the corner. That one turned on me, so I'm going to use this end. And then I'm going to place that right down here. And then I'm going to bring in our snips. Well, I won't bring our snips in because if I have not colored enough ribbon, then I can just add to it, right? So, but I am going to, this end here is a little torn, so I'm going to straighten that up a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and make a bow. And then we'll add this to our card. And then I want to share a couple things with you. And 
Okay, so it looks like I estimated correctly. I'm going to bring in a glue dot. Bring our bow right there to the glue dot. And I will fix our bow in just a second. Um, we can place it there. We can place it underneath. I think we're going to put it right here just for something different since on our other card we had it at the top. Let's give this a little snip. Whoop. And then let's pull this and make sure it's tight. There we go. So here's a quick and easy one to say thank you. And here is our first card. So on the first card was just want to say thank you. And I put the bow up here. And then on this card today, I added the bow down here. And I did pop up our contour die scalloped edge large label and quick and easy ready to send two thank you cards if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe by clicking that subscribe button down below i really appreciate that I'm trying to grow my channel and it helps me to bring videos to you let me know if you like these quick and easy thank you cards i also wanted to tell you that invite you to an online global retreat that I'm a part of and this will be February 17th and 18th of 2023 and early bird registration is open so this will be uh, our third retreat coming up so I hope that you will join us on February 17th and 18th I've teamed up with three other demonstrators Connie Douglas from Canada, Sarah Boland from Australia, and Louise Daniels from the United Kingdom. And we're bringing you the online global retreat. And we're really excited to once again be able to offer another fun retreat. Uh, during the two-day virtual retreat, we're going to have eight live demonstrations and share over 30 projects with you. And if you're not able to join us live, don't worry. You'll have lifetime access to the videos to watch over and over. Now, this registration fee also includes a retreat box that will be shipped to your home, and the shipping is included in the registration fee. So there is a link below, and you can just click on that to sign up for the retreat. It doesn't matter whether you live in Australia, Canada, United Kingdom, or the United States. You can just fill out, uh, click that link, fill out the form, and it will go to the correct uh, demonstrator in your country. And in that retreat box that you'll receive that's shipped to your house, you're going to have over $25 of Stampin' Up! products, eight make and takes, written tutorials, and the measurements will be in inches and centimeters, pillow gifts, and more. So again, we're having early bird registration now through January 8th of 2023, and you can see the early bird um, fees for each country is listed here. So in Australia, normally it would be $75, but now for early bird registration, uh, it's $67. In Canada, right now through the January 8th of 2023, if you um, register, $67. In the United Kingdom, £36. Pounds. And here in the United States, $49. So I hope that you will uh, click that link and sign up to join us on February 17th and 18th for our online global retreat, which also includes the two days of live demonstrations and the retreat box to go. Again, I'm Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week, and I'll see you soon.